So guys, good morning. Welcome back to another horrible day in Devon, weather-wise that is. Today we are back on cleaning sheds. Um, we're cleaning out our farm sheep shed. We've still got the skid steer, New Holland skid steer and cast loader here um, on demo at the moment. There is Craig in the skid steer. I've managed to put the uh, pipes on the wrong way around on a grab. Manitou's bleeping at me. Um, so we cleaned out our science sheep shed yesterday, um, mainly with the cast loader crate, did a couple of things with the skid steer. And uh, yeah, we're getting on really well with a little cast loader. Sort of coming to its own for this job, it is superb. So what we're doing is we were both there uh, hoiking dung out the shed and just plonking it on the concrete outside. Um, and then we built up a bit of a pile um, so I'm going to get rid of it with the Manitou for a little bit. And then when I've cleared it, I'll jump back on the cast and we'll make another pile. So if you missed the last video, um, I'll just explain again briefly. We always hire a skid steer and Craig always cleans out the sheep pens with it just because they're sort of a bit tight for getting in with a handler. Um, Craig's done a lot of skid steer driving in his farming career. And uh, yesterday he was actually on that little cast loader more than he was the skid steer which is saying something obviously the cast just sat up a little bit higher and you can see all four corners of your machine whereas the skid steer as good as maneuverable as they are you can't can't see a lot behind you but um he's on the skid steer there at the moment so we'll see how we get on is having a go on the uh, cast, seeing if it'll pick up the heavy stuff, which it seems to be doing. This is the New Holland we hire, so an L218. Don't know what the numbers mean, but there it is. See the problem with them? Same as the cast, really. There's no glass on them. So Craig just said, get in the skid steer with the camera, which I'm doing, and compare the visibility. So I'm a big bloke. Not easy to get in these things. So, that's my forward view. Obviously this is coming down. You can see with the window in the mesh and the booms. Definitely limited compared to the other one. And then behind you, because I've never used this, I don't know how far back the sort of back panel of that thing is.
not got the touch for that. But also for the visibility. Yeah. It's like you blinkered. <laughs> How'd you get used to up and down on the left hand panel? Well, you can change it, see? Well, it's not up and down. Up and down's on one and tilt's on the other. Yeah. You can change it over so that forwards, backwards, left and right's on that one. Right. And then your load is all on that one. Yeah, see, I think I'd get better on with that. Right, swap it over if you want to try right, it. Like so I'll go back in the orange one. I'll go back to my orange machine. that side because it's pivoted round. See the edge, see the front, see the wheel. You can see the entirety of the machine from exactly where I'm sat. Which is fantastic. It pretty well stops behind the seat as well. It's only when you pivot. Oh, a table. Of course there's nothing there then. It's brilliant. Passenger seat as long as you're always turning left. We're going to stop and have some lunch in a minute. We've got three pens left to feed, uh, to feed, to muck out. That means we've done one, two, three, four, five. We've done five, so we've done over half the shed in about an hour, which is unbelievable. But see, the dung's quite thick. The sheep are struggling to feed there um, the last few days, so we needed to get it done. But um, it's been brilliant. I can't believe how good that is. Obviously it doesn't lift anywhere near what the skid steer does, but it hasn't got anywhere near the power or the weight, but it's brilliant. What do you reckon, Craig? As a man that's driven skid steers for a long time. Visibility is really good on it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you drive in that and you're almost wearing blinkers because you can only see out the front. It's very hard to know where your back is. Obviously that'll lift a lot more. Oh yeah, it? and it's got a bigger grab on. Yeah. But for size-wise... Getting in the corners know. and whatever. Yeah. Brilliant, isn't it? Very much And it's not like you'd use that for scraping out and there's lots of other little jobs we can make this do. Yeah, that'll do a lot of things that pushing in, scraping yeah. up. Yeah. We've done over half the shed yeah, yeah. in an hour. So. It comes in its element because the bucket being wider, yes. you can then get in the corners easier. With this, it's the same width. are your widest point, so you've got to watch hangings and bits and pieces yeah. like that. You know, I'm Ripped the sidewall of that one last time we had it on a on the tire, yeah. Because you just can't see. Got another the map. other advantage is, is with that, it's on dry concrete. Yes. It'll steer and it's lovely and smooth, whereas that dances around quite a bit on dry concrete because it doesn't skid. It's not designed for dry concrete. Whereas once it's like this, right. it's fine. You almost got to make it messy for the skid steer to work. I think it's about time. We shift some of this pile. Anna two, it's your time to shine. That is the 
one downside to both the skid steer and the cast loader is there. They are open to the elements. Well, I don't know what the cost is of it, but you can have an encased cab on that cast. You can have pretty well whatever you want with it. They do every attachment under the sun for the front. So John and Lewis are going to do the uh, weld mesh on the front of the sheep pens. Right, I'll continue to move some done. We'll see you again in a minute. Right, we're going to take this grab off. First thing is then turn the loader off and wiggle the spool to release the pressure. Um, two little couplings here. Simple as that. There's a little ball there that lines up. Just flick that up. Um, these, I think you've got to have these under pressure. Oh no, you don't. I take it all back. So they're the locking pins. So you just pull them back, drop it down, and then when you put the next one on, you crowd it right back. That little roller touches there, locks itself in. We're going to put on the bucket. It's quite a deep bucket, which um, makes it interesting for using because I'm not used to having such a deep bucket. One good thing you can do is stick the boom out. silage bit here so it stays dry and so Craig can't find it when he comes to pick it up but um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that now you spend some time on it you get used to the way it drives and the steering on it and uh, you uh, you fall in love with it it's brilliant worked quite well there with Craig we were sort of cleaning up the edges of the sheds together I was pulling bits off the side he was pulling bits off the other side and then we're just driving them out the door that went well so you get Manitou get a couple of bales of straw or four or five bales of straw fed up that side of the shed that we've uh, cleaned out. Oh, here he is. There's the man with the Manitou. Right, let's see if we can do something fantastic with these bales here. Pull down two, I think you probably want one per pen. Maybe not quite that many. I will spread the straw out a little bit for them, but they do it pretty well on their own. Guys, just like that, another day's come to an end. Just finished feeding the calves. All the sheep are now back in their nicely bedded shed. All the kits away, got the Teleana here behind me. There, and the uh, 
Oh, the skid steer behind me, I should say. So we're all just packing up. We're going to have one last look at the little cast loader because I think it's going uh, not tomorrow, but the day after. And um, we've got a little bit more cleaning out to do with it tomorrow. And then it'll be gone. But we will miss it, I'm sure of it. It's been a fantastic machine. And uh, whether or not we get one, we'll have to just watch this space. Here he comes. No, you can s s slot it in anywhere. Right, I ran out of battery just now, but just putting the kit away. Craig's putting the Corvus away. Hard right, run right up there. That thing is massive. We might have a look at that tomorrow. I think Craig, the uh, Southwest Handling guy, is going to come in and sort of compare it to the ones we've already got. But anyway. Quick final word on this, visibility is fantastic, manoeuvrability is fantastic. Um, for a 23 horsepower engine, it's got plenty of sort of poke um, for what you want to use it for. Obviously you're not going to load a diet feeder with it or anything like that, or a fertilizer spreader, but that's not what it's designed to do. For getting in and out of the... <laughs> Great thing on the horn. For getting in and out of the sheep shed, which is pretty tight with the handler, it was really, really good. Um, and I'm sure that with an extra couple hundred kilo on the back, which you can get, it would be brilliant. Um, when you've got a full grabber muck and you turn, it is a little bit wishy-washy. But nice to have these functions on the joystick, but that's just an option. Um, yeah, we've really enjoyed using it. See the cows before going home. Got one cow in here somewhere trying to carve. Um, I saw her on the camera just now, but now I can't see her. Two here with collars on. We did have, here's one of them. The other one's disappeared, that's down there. They've got twins, so we can identify them easy enough. But yeah, they all look happy. So that is gonna be the end of the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think on the cast loader versus the skid steer in the comment. Um, it's been awesome actually trying it. I really, I really like it. I think it's a good machine for the job that it's designed to do. And uh, I actually quite miss it, I think, when it goes, but there you are. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you on another video very soon. If you want to see more from these guys, then check out my Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. They'll be at the bottom of the screen now, and also um, in the description. And yeah, cheerio.